All right, guys, so welcome back to the video. Uh, in today's video, I wanna go over how to pass your CCNA in your first try. So um, as you guys know, CCNA is a massive exam. It's uh, two hours and around 100 questions. So it's a, it's a pretty beefy exam. Um, if you guys don't know, it's all multiple choice pretty much. A little bit of labs in it, but I would say it's majority multiple choice. So um, to pass this exam, it requires a lot of planning tons and tons of tons of planning because a lot of people don't understand is that um, this certification covers an array of topics it, it kind of goes a little bit wide in terms of you know with automation and covers like all the other networking concepts um, so just understand that you're getting into a very difficult exam um, some people are it's easier for some people than others but it's still relatively difficult and it's going to take a lot of dedication and a lot of self-discipline to pass the exam in the first try because um, I know you guys do not want to pay these exam fees because they're so damn expensive and I'm trying to just save you guys as much money as possible. So to pass on your first try, it's going to save you a ton of money and a ton of time and a ton of headache and the annoyance of having a failed exam. And by the way, if you fail an exam, if you came here, you already failed your CCNA, do not worry about it. Um, it like I said, it's, it's, it's an exam and if you fail an exam, don't think of it as a failure. Think of it as a, as, you know, as a learning lesson and use what you've learned from that exam session to hopefully pass again. So, um, but this is for people who, who, have, who want to pass on their first try. And I, when I first took my CCNA, I remember, um, I, I just thought I, I studied for a long time and I was really afraid that I may not pass the exam. And then once I saw that pass check mark, I was just like, oh my God, it just felt so good. And I want you guys to have that emotion because you just never know, like you don't know until you actually hit submit and you see your score. So. Um, that's just what I want you guys to understand. And so how to pass on your first try. First of all, you want to pick this right. You want to pick the date you want to take the exam. Okay. Pick the damn date. What day are you taking the exam? Put it, uh, pay the money, whatever the exam fee is. Now it's like close to three something. I keep forgetting the price, but book the exam. Once the exam's booked, now you know the exam is booked. And if you do, if you guys don't know, book it three or four months ahead of time, I would say, um, and you could always push it back whenever you want. I think there's a limit to it, but you could always push it back. But book that exam. Um, so step one, um, get flashcards. Get the get a video course from anywhere. Doesn't really matter. Make sure it has good reviews and a lot of reviews. Uh, look at Udemy. Look at online. Um, try to pay for it because if you don't pay for it, you're not going to take it seriously. And if you go through like these YouTube courses, it's not the best. Like like there's trust me, the knowledge in YouTube is fantastic you can learn a ton of information from youtube especially when networking the issue is if you don't pay for it, you won't take it seriously you won't see the value in it until you actually put your money down and pay for it. even if it's a small amount of money the fact of you taking initiative and actually paying for it that's the value in it if the ccna was free a free exam no one would care if college degrees were free it wouldn't have its value and you definitely have to pay for your education that's just what i've noticed and um even if it's the same level of knowledge you can get for free you're still going to take it more seriously when you pay for it. And it's better when it's in, just understand that. That's just something that I've learned. If you guys don't agree, don't agree. Um, go through the free methods if it works for you. But for my case, I want to pay for something just to, even if it's just to have skin in the game, basically. That's just how I like to do things. So um, no cards, video course, packet tracer, and both on exams. Those are the four things. I'm gonna link everything in the description, by the way. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'm kind of, I'm gonna wrap through this and go through this as, mu as fast as I can. So. Um, have those four materials and once you have all those four materials the next thing you want to do is um, basically speed run that court video course the course could be from 20 to 30 hours take notes at the same time uh, and write flashcards because um, use the flashcards to learn because the thing is there's a ton of acronyms in the networking world um, like SNMP TCP uh, BGP there's so many um, and I want you guys to not get your head, you know, to be spinning after learning all this stuff. So, um, what I want you to do is after learning, after going through this video course and you know, you've taken all your notes, take a deep breath, take a break, relax, um, go through the course and everything you, once you go through this video course, you should have learned a lot. They've should have uh, taught you some of the stuff on packet tracer. Right. Um, and like I said, you should be doing labs pretty much during the video course, but also a little bit after. But I want you guys to understand is the labs are gonna be vital for you to learn networking concepts, right? To learn networking concepts. But to pass the CCNA, 
the labs are going to help 100%. They're going to help with when it comes to some of the questions about the commands and everything. But the labs can only take you so far for the CCNA, which is the thing I don't like how the CCNA is structured because it's just an exam and it's a method of just that's just a way of them testing you of how you can pass an exam. So you have to be good at test taking. Like uh, you can have an, a, fun, a freaking amazing knowledge in networking, like amazing knowledge in networking, take the CCNA and still fail it because the ways the, the CCNA is structured is it, it, it's meant to trip you up. The questions sometimes are, are set up in a way that it's like maybe two of the answers are correct. You got to find the one that's like the most correct, right? So just understand that you're going to be, uh, you know, going through it and maybe you, you're like, oh, wait, which one's, I don't know, like it, like both answers seem right. And that's something that, I, that really frustrates me about it, but that's just how it's structured. And a lot of these IT exams are almost all like that. So um, that's just how it is. And that's just how they, they just want to test you, which is really unfortunate because I feel like you don't really learn as much um, doing that method. Because like, obviously, um, okay, so now let me just get straight to the point. I feel like I'm rambling a little too much. So um, like I said, it's the CCNA is an exam right? It's not a lab for the most part. So the labs are great for learning. And I would say like, if you actually want to become a really good network engineer, you should, you should only focus on labbing because you're, that's basically your, your job, right? You're pretty much working on the network, right? Um, but for the CCNA, it's an exam. So you have to be good at test taking, which is another skill on its own, right? A lot of people don't know that, like you can actually learn the test taking skill. So you want to always put yourself in an environment where you're taking tests. So um, one of the best um, sort of um, exams that they have is Boson. So Boson is a software, it's a company that, you know, creates um, look-alike exams of different certifications. They have CCNA, they have CompTIA, CISSP. They have a bunch of certifications, right? And they create mimic-like certificate, mimic-like questions that you would see during the actual, you know, CCNA. So. Boson's really good. I'll leave the link down below on how to use Boson um, and, or like how to like um, use it because there's different softwares. I don't want you to get mixed up on which Boson exam I should take because I don't want you guys to overpaying. So I'll let you know which one to pick. I'll leave it down in the description, but I think it's called XM Max if I'm not mistaken. But um, once you get to the exam, once you buy the Boson, by the way, Boson's also paid as well. Um, so like I said, it's pay to play. <laughs> if you guys want to actually get the CCNA, put your money down. Like it's pay for your education. There's always going to be an ROI. If you guys are like, I don't want to pay for anything. I want to get everything for free. The issue is the, the ROI, even if you guys pay a little bit, you're going to get so much back in return. The knowledge, the knowledge obviously is going to help with finding career. So um, back to the Boson exams, when you're taking the Boson exams, there's about three exams and they're all different by the way. So the first thing after you've gone through the video course, right? You've gone through, you take your notes, you've done your, all your labs, you've done all your homework, you've done all of that. Once that's taken care of, you want to take that first exam. And hopefully this is done within a month to month and a half. And once you've taken that first Boson exam, what you need to do is you take that exam and you're going to see your score. And you, it's, it's going to show you which areas you did well on, which areas you did not do well on. And keep in mind, this is your first sort of exam, right? So it's obviously not going to be good. Uh, very rare that you have a passing score on this Boson exam, so don't sweat it when you see your score. Like, wow, that's so low. I'm not like I'm not ready because my first bro, my first score on the Boson exam was so bad. I, I thought like, man, I'm, I don't think this CCNA stuff. I don't think networking for me. Like I, that, I was genuinely like very scared. And I was like, dang, I, I really don't know much. But do not worry. That's the whole. That's the whole process. You're gonna see that score, and you're gonna see which areas you are. You know, are your weak points, right? So once you've gone through that course. He's gonna say, oh, your networking fundamentals are great, but you don't know much about automation or your routing fundamentals or your routing skills are just weak. So you would focus on those areas. So whatever percentage it tells you um, is the weakest, I would say focus on the three weakest um, areas and just study those areas only, right? So go back to the video courses, do some more labs on those specific topics and see what you're doing wrong, right? And then go through over all the questions in the exam one more time looking at the question and answer and seeing why it was the answer. Even the ones that you got right on the exam, check to see why it was right and why, why it was right and why it was wrong, right? So you want to go through all that. And once that's fully taken care of, then you can go ahead and, okay, I've gone through all the questions. Now I know what I'm, what I'm missing and what I'm doing right. So once that's all good and, and handy dandy and everyone's happy, um, go ahead and take that second exam. 
right? You've gone through that first exam, you've seen your weak points, you've fixed all your weak points, maybe this is within a three week period. Um, this is a very extensive time because you're, you're really seeing what you did wrong and you're going through all those questions on that BOSUN exam and also you've gotten prep on real, like a real exam environment because you have, like I said, you have to get better at that test taking skill. It's a whole nother skill that that is involved, right? You have to be focused, you have to know what questions, like, and also when you're like, another another um, sort of tip, I'll, I'll get into it later, but uh, once you've gone through all those BOSUN exams, your, your score should be getting better and better and better. Um, and then hopefully after that third exam, like I said, you're gonna be re repeating this process throughout the two and three. And once you've gone through all exams, hopefully your score has gotten better um, and maybe a passing score. And once that is handy dandy and all good, go ahead and take your, like do all your final prep, which is like, you know, going over all your weak points, like I said. And once that's all good, do more labs, look over more questions, look over your note cards, look at over everything. And once everything's all looking over, go ahead and take, you're ready to go and take your exam. If your boson exams are not, you know, getting any better, then you have to switch up your study method because clearly what you're doing now is not working. So I would say study more books, go back to the exams. And by the way, when it, once you do that first boson exam, do not take it again. Do not take that same exam that you took prior because if you take the same exact exam again, it's not going to work out for you guys because you're going to see the question. You already saw the answer. What's the point? You literally know, you know the answer already. So like you have a, a very strong advantage and you're probably going to pass the exam right away. So always take a new fresh exam. It always has to be fresh questions that you haven't seen before. That's the whole point of the boson exams, by the way. So a little bit of a tangent. Once the boson exams are all taken care of, take the real exam and some tips for the real exam. Take a deep breath. Take it during a time in the day where you're more fresh in your mind, where, where your mind is more fresh. And for me, that's mainly the mornings, right? I'm way more fresh in the mornings. I feel like after later in the day, especially after lunch, you get too tired, you get too groggy. So maybe I'm not, my mind's not as clear. So I try to schedule an exam at a time in the morning, uh, preferably. So that way I don't have to think about the exam throughout the day, be all stressed out about it. I can just wake up in the morning after a good night's sleep, um, have some breakfast, um, look over some notes, and then take the exam. So I would say like maybe 10 a.m., 11 a.m. would be perfect time for taking an exam. That way, if you do pass the exam, you can have some fun in the afternoon. So um, that's how I like to do it. Um, so once you've once you're in the exam environment, hyper focused. If you don't know the question, don't spend too much time on it because you have 100 to 120 questions to go over. That's a lot of questions in under two hours. So you don't want to spend five, 10 minutes on a question. Like I said, it's the way we see CNA is like, it's like bam, 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 just knock, like you should, you should be answering the questions quite quickly and the answer should come right away. It shouldn't be a thing where I need to think 10 minutes about it. It's not a physics exam, right? This is literally multiple choice where it's either you know it or you don't, to be honest. And the more you look at a question, maybe you just don't know it. So if you guys don't know the answer, go the way I like to do multiple choice. If there's four questions or five uh, potential options, cross out the main cross out the options that you know for a fact are wrong right obviously with every question <laughs> hopefully this works because sometimes maybe all the questions seem right which is like that's obviously the worst but cross out the ones that you know for a fact are wrong and let's say you cross out three out of the out of the five then you have two questions two uh answers left and then make your best judgment based off those two answers and if you guys really don't know uh, another thing you can do is like so you can always skip over the questions and come back to it which is really nice because i don't want you guys spending way too much time like going like doing like let's say you did 60 questions and you only have like 20 minutes left and you still have 40 more questions left that's a very bad place to be in because there's going to be a lot of that bulk of 40 questions that you had from that, that are upcoming but you have such little time to answer them there's going to be questions that are like easy like easy easy ones that you could super that are super easy that you're going to miss out on that are going to you know increase your score so skip over the question that you don't know and then always come back to it right if you don't know the answer right away come back to it and then don't answer the question right right immediately as, you, as soon as you see the question because sometimes it could be trick questions right sometimes you see a question like oh this is super easy mac address and then then you got to hold up wait sometimes you got to read the question maybe read it twice before you answer the question because i've 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 had situations where i you know especially in the both exam where i'm like okay this is easy this is the answer and then you look back at it and be like, man, I should have just read the question twice because sometimes you have to re-reading the question because sometimes the questions are very confusing. So you really have to understand what they're asking before you answer. So once that's taken care of, guys, um, you should be all set at that point. 
and hopefully that's going to be a passing score for you guys. So yeah, hopefully you pass the exam at this point and you guys are thrilled and excited and yeah, that's basically how you pass the exam with your first try is booking the exam, getting all the study material and just knocking it out and, and really focusing on it. You got to be exam heavy because the past CCNA, you're taking an exam. So yes, the labs are going to help you learn the concepts but you have to be a better test taker. And that's the main thing I want you guys to understand. So hopefully you guys, hopefully this video has been very informative for you guys. Hopefully um, you, you can take this, the CCNA and maybe pass on your first try. If not, like I said, reiterate, repeat what you did wrong and go over it. So thank you so much for tuning in guys. If you guys liked the video, give it a like. Um, if you guys wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you have any more questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll go over all your questions. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And with that being said, everyone, hope you guys have a good day. Peace.